All right, so these are front controls for my Grom chopper motorcycle build. And last week we looked at how I'm gonna set them on the frame of the bike. Because since it's a custom frame, I need to make the place for them to go. And to do that, I've got this metal here. So I've got a piece of like, this is some scrap stuff that I'm gonna have to clean up and cut to, the, to fit. It's thinner gauge, maybe 18 gauge. And then this stuff is eighth inch thick. So the front controls come with these bolts here and they go in our mounting holes. And you can see they stick out about that far. And then we've got some nuts here that I have these are just 3 8 nuts or whatever from the hardware store. I've cleaned the zinc off of them with some vinegar. I'm gonna weld these guys on the inside of my eighth inch plate here. I'm gonna drill some holes in this. I'm gonna shape this thing out so it's the same shape as this guy here. You can see there's a little curvature on this guy there, curvature. And then we're gonna weld these bolts on there. And then we're gonna use this stuff here and it's going to fill in the gaps because we're gonna have Two of these, one for each forward control. Let's make this thing. I'm gonna start with a piece of paper. Looks kind of like a rumpus. All right, and then we're gonna go straight back. All right, then we're gonna cut this thing out. My industrial scissors here. All right, then we're gonna take this and play with it on the bike. All right, so then we kind of align this thing. What I'm trying to do is account for this curve here, and then that'll help me figure out how long this needs to be. So I'm definitely not having it out that far. Kind of want them like in there, I believe. I like them up higher so they don't scrape the ground. All right, so I've got this tool here, which is very cool because I can, I can do cool stuff like that, like when you're a kid, you know? So with this, I can sort of trace the shape of my curve here without too much problem. All right, so now I've got this template here, I've got this template here. And this one, I don't want it to just come straight off the frame like that. I want it to sort of blend in. I want a little curve, curvature to it on either side. Right, move this over here. All right, so now I know where the curve on the bike is because it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then stick that on the bike, see how it looks. All right, so now we've got something we can transfer onto some metal. Let's try to make efficient use of things here if we can. I was gonna go ahead and cut this thing out and then we'll use this to trace out another one. There is just something about chewing away metal with a little tiny saw. It's really satisfying and therapeutic, really. At least for me, it's therapeutic today. Felt really good. And here is our piece thus far. You can see it's starting to take shape, but quite rough, literally, around the edges. And so I'm gonna use this to draw out the other piece. Then we're gonna sort of tie these two together and then grind everything so they're perfectly the same. And then I'll go ahead and trace that and we'll cut out another, another one. We'll cut out another one. All right, there's the second one. It's a little bit rougher than the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the first one on top here. And then I'll probably weld it together here somewhere. And then we'll go ahead and start grinding everything else together. All right, with a couple tacks on there, I wanna go ahead and continue to grind this stuff away and shape it. Now I'm shaping both of them though at the same time, which will ensure that they both are the same. All right, so now we've got this thing shaped out better. Still not finished yet, but it's closer. Close enough that now I want to put the little holes in there. And to do that, I've got this guy lined up on here like it would be on the bike. All right, then I'm gonna use my center punch 
That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and drill some stuff, man. I've got some holes drilled in here that I can now fit some bolts in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a couple bolts in here. It will now hold this together. Now I can go ahead and grind away the welds and we'll still have this thing held together. All right, so now that we've got everything sort of shaped out the way we want, this is kind of our final shape there. I'm gonna go ahead and undo these bolts here. All right, now this should come apart into two different pieces. Like that. So now we've got two different ones. All right, so I've got two of these done now and I actually did the holes larger than what they need to be in theory so that when I've got this bolt, which I'm gonna weld on the back side here, there's a little bit of play room in there but just because when you weld stuff on, it's gonna pull a little bit there or there. And if I don't get it exactly perfect, uh, when you go to thread the bolt through there, it'll bind on this guy here. And so to avoid that, I drill these holes just a little bit larger. And then the next thing is to weld some bolts on the back side. I've already cleaned off the holes there. My bolts are also clean, nice and bare metal. Then in order to make sure everything is aligned, I'm actually gonna use the bolts that go on the bike. I'm gonna tack these things on here. I'm actually gonna use this too. I run the risk of damaging the finish on here, but to get everything aligned, kinda gotta do it. All right, so with the other one done, I'm actually gonna use it as a template and I've secured the other one on top of that so that the spacing will be exactly the same on both of these things. And now I'm gonna tack these nuts onto the second one. All right, now hopefully this stuff is cooled down. I should be able to take this apart. All right, now we got our two halves with our nuts welded on them. I've also got this piece of tubing, which is the same diameter tubing as the stuff we're gonna be welding this to. So, set that here, set that there. I kinda of want this out on the outer edges of the tubing like that ultimately, so it's kinda of flush. I got a long piece of threaded rod here. All right, so now I've got my height set on this thing. We're using these two bolts here. And now this is the side that's going to be open. It's a cent against the pipe. We're going to weld this onto the actual frame eventually. This other side, we don't want this to be open. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. That's where this, this piece of scrap metal here comes in. This has got a coating on it, so I've got to grind all that stuff off. And then we're going to sort of weld it on and bend it around this thing here to try and shape it into this, this piece here. A little extra dip there is going to be interesting, but I think we can get it done. All right, so a lot of dust later, and we've got all the paint and everything off of this guy on both sides. And also on this guy, I've gone ahead and ground a bevel on the outside edge of this. So there'll be a gap in which to fill with some weld material. So my plan is basically to weld this guy on the one, side, the one edge here, and then just start working my way around bending this thing as I go and welding it on to the outside edge of this thing and covering up all of these little bolts on the inside. Actually, I'm gonna do it. All right, so right now I am employing the vise, which allows me to get in there and sort of push those two pieces of metal together, and then I'm gonna get in here and just tack it. And then we'll keep going as far as we can with the vise and see what happens. For this divot here, I'm gonna see if I can push the metal in with this tube here. All right, I need a smaller tube. All right, so now we've got everything tacked in here pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and Remove these screws from here, or these bolts. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. You kind of see the, the shape of it now. It's coming into, coming into its own. 
But now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some more tacks in here, about as many as I can get on there, and then we'll go ahead and trim off all this excess sheet metal all around, and then we'll grind it down, and then we'll fill in any gaps with some more weld. Now we've got this thing finally shaped out the way we want it. And the next thing is to put it onto the bike. But I wanna make sure this thing is aligned so it's not like cocked off to the side or something. I need it to be straight forward. I'm gonna utilize these guys as sort of straight edges. I'm gonna make sure the frame here and the frame here, this is level. So if I clamp it up here, clamp it down there, and then this should sort of sandwich this guy in between two of these things should be able to get it on there nice and straight and then I can tack it in. Alright, so there it is. We got it all clamped in. And this angle iron on top here helps keep everything perfectly aligned with the rest of the frame. So that should be nice and straight down there. All right, let's go ahead and test fit these things on there. Controls on a Grom chopper. Well, I hope you liked this video. This, of course, took me longer than I expected to actually make the mount on the front, but we're making progress, and progress is what we're all about around here because it gets us to a finished motorcycle, and that's the most fun and we can ride. So, see you next time. Keep on wrenching on your own projects. We'll talk to you later.